Hello there, my fellow squad mates, and welcome to another entry in our coverage of the Imperial Munitorum Manual. For today, we arrive at part 9 in our presentation. Following the vote from two videos ago, today we shall talk about a topic that I think many of you will find very interesting. It is also helpful that it flows organically from the topic of last week, which was proper maintenance of your gear. Today, on the other hand, we will describe the crimes and punishments regarding the mistreatment of Munitoru property. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? Section 3. List of Punishments, Mistreatment of Departamento Minotaurum Equipment Listed in the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer, the following two crimes are of a most basic nature, and serve to prepare the Godsman's mind to understanding the heinous crimes that await to be committed by the unwary, the foolish, and the reckless. More specialized definitions and crimes follow next. Ill-treatment or neglect of accoutrements Any soldier who ill-treats his effects, issued arms, and equipment through willful or non-willful neglect will be shot. Wasting ammunition Any soldier that sells or willfully through neglect waste any ammunition will be sent to a penal battalion. Modifying weapons or equipment such that it cannot perform its primary function. Any soldier who attempts to modify his weapon or equipment in such a way that it becomes unusable for its primary function will be flogged. Subsequent offenses will result in the offender being shot. Modifying weapons or equipment in unauthorized ways, regardless of functionality. Any soldier that modifies his weapon or equipment without permission, but such that it still retains its functionality, will be flogged. Subsequent offenses will result in the offender being incarcerated for a period of no less than three months, followed by more flogging. Defacing weapons or equipment without permission of an officer. Any soldier that defaces his weapon with unauthorized kill markings, kill counts, or slogans, conspicuously pro-imperial ones accepted, will be flogged. Discharging a weapon without permission. Any soldier that discharges his weapon without the permission of a senior officer in a non-battle situation shall be subject to a beating of no less than ten blows. In addition, he will be found guilty of wasting ammunition. Selling or otherwise profiting from the transfer of title of weapons and equipment. Any soldier who exchanges any part of the issued kit, weapons or equipment, to any other soldier, non-combatant, indigenous inhabitant or other form of life, will be flogged, no less than 50 lashes, beaten, no less than 20 blows, and then shot. Allowing power packs to discharge. Any soldier who, through neglect or deliberate malfeasance, allows the power pack of a weapon to drain to a level where there is less than 50% charge, at time of measurement, not offense, at any time prior to a combat situation, will be flogged. Leaving weapons or equipment on the battlefield without permission. Any soldier who leaves his weapon on the battlefield without prior permission by his superior officer will be shot. Addendum. Any officer who gives permission for weapons or equipment to be left on the battlefield is to be brought upon the same charge, and upon guilty verdict is to be shot. Failing to carry a weapon at all times. Any soldier who fails to produce a weapon, main weapon, sidearm, or close combat weapon upon demand will be flogged. Failure to maintain adequate supplies of ammunition. Each soldier shall carry about his person, or have stowed in his billet, enough ammunition to fire no less than 500 rounds from his primary last gun. Failure to maintain this level of firepower will result in a flogging, no less than 30 lashes. Running out of ammunition in a combat situation. Any soldier who finds himself unable to prosecute the enemy with ballistic, laser, or plasma weapons shall, upon return to base, be incarcerated for no less than 60 days. He shall then be found guilty of failing to maintain adequate supplies of ammunition. 
losing weapons or equipment. Any soldier who, whether through neglect or deficiency of memory, loses any part of his kit shall be flogged. Wounding or killing a comrade through misuse or deliberate action with weapons or equipment. Any soldier causing injury or kills a fellow guardsman through accidental or deliberate misuse of weapons or equipment shall be flogged and then shot. The wounding or killing of a superior officer from misuse or deliberate action with weapons or equipment. Any soldier who causes injury or kills a superior officer through accidental or deliberate misuse of equipment or weapons shall be incarcerated for no less than 60 days, flogged daily, and then shot at the end of his term of incarceration. Damaging weapons or equipment accidentally. Any soldier who accidentally damages a piece of departmental minitorum equipment or weapons shall be flogged. Damaging weapons or equipment deliberately. Any soldier who does this will be shot. Using departmental minitorum weapons or equipment to commit suicide. Any soldier who employs the sacred battle gear of the munitorum to commit suicide will be shot, have his name stricken from the regimental roll of honor, his ashes vaporized, and the next of kin invoiced for the cost of the expended kit. Failing to use Departamento Minitorum weapons or equipment to discomfit the enemy. Any soldier who fails to utilize his weapons or equipment in its primary purpose of discomfiting the enemy, either from misuse or personal use, will be stripped of that weapon and sent into battle without it, and then found guilty of failing to carry a weapon at all times. Use of weapons or equipment for any other purpose than their main function. Any soldier who employs his weapon or equipment in any fashion other than that for which it was issued to him shall be flogged and dispatched to a penal battalion. Failure to maintain proper maintenance rights upon weapons or equipment. Any soldier that fails to attend to the proper maintenance rights for his weapon or equipment shall be flogged and be required to attend each and every maintenance sermon for the next year regardless of the appropriateness to his station. Inability to perform ritual field strip of weapons or equipment in prescribed times. Any soldier who, upon demand by a departmental minitorum officer, fails to perform the ritual field strip and clean of his weapon or equipment, shall be flogged and sentenced to maintenance sermons in perpetuity. Inability to utilize weapons or equipment in instructed manner. Any soldier that displays a lack of knowledge in the use of his issued kit will be required to attend the appropriate instructional sermons until this lack is resolved, and then he will be flogged. Failure to clean blood from weapons or equipment. Any soldier who fails to clean his equipment of blood, his own, comrades, or the enemies, and return it to the state in which it was issued to him after combat, will be incarcerated for a period of no less than 30 days allowing weapons or equipment to become rusted. Any soldier who allows his weapons or equipment to become coated in substances formed when iron compounds corrode in the presence of oxygen and water will be flogged, allowing the weapon to jam in a combat situation. Any soldier that allows his weapon to jam in a combat action will, upon return to base, be flogged. The use of anti-contaminants in production of illicit alcohol. Any soldier caught utilizing his anti-contaminant tablets in the production of illicit alcohol from engine fuel of physaline shall be forced to drink the entirety of the liquor produced. If he survives, he will be shot. Failure to allow departmental minitorum officers to inspect weapons or equipment on demand. Any soldier who, for whatever reason, refuses to allow a superior officer to inspect his weapon or kit shall, for a period of 60 days, be forced to attend upon that officer in respect of his kit inspections and penal servitude. Failure to attend regular kit inspections. Any soldier who fails to maintain a regular presence at kit inspections shall be flogged. Failing to honor the glorious offices of the Departamento Minitorum. Any soldier who, through actions, words, or other sedition, knowingly or unknowingly, impugns the glorious name and offices of the Departamento Minitorum shall be immediately shot.
discourtesy to a Departamento Minitorum officer. Any soldier who behaves in a manner intended to incite a disrespect, in words or action, to an officer of the Minitorum shall be flogged. Coarse language in the presence of a Departamento Minitorum officer. Any soldier employing coarse, disrespectful, or belligerent language to an officer of the Minitorum shall be flogged and then branded. Striking a Departamento Minitorum officer. Any soldier who, on any pretense whatsoever, strikes an officer of the Minitorum will be shot. Killing a Departamento Minitorum officer. Any soldier who, on any pretense whatsoever, kills an officer of the Minitorum will be flogged and then shot. Failure to maintain uniform in a manner befitting the Imperial Guard. Any soldier who behaves in a slovenly manner or who fails to maintain his uniform in a manner befitting the glory of the Imperial Guard and the proud heritage of his regiment will be flogged and then shot. Failure to display all proper badges of rank, insignia, and regimental regalia. Any soldier who does not clearly and proudly display all badges and insignia awarded to him by his regiment or other senior bodies, regardless of size or color, shall be dispatched to a penal battalion. Displaying of unauthorized medals, regalia, trophies, or totems on the uniform. Any soldier who displays about his person or uniform unauthorized decals, tattoos, trophies taken from the field of battle or other spoils of war without prior permission in writing of his superior officer will have the offending item stripped away from him and then he will be flogged. Failure to retrieve a fallen comrade's battle gear. Any soldier who knowingly or unknowingly fails to retrieve the battle gear of a fallen comrade and returns it to base upon completion of hostilities, will be flogged. Allowing weapons or equipment to be damaged in a combat situation. Any soldier who allows his weapon or equipment to come to harm within the combat zone will be flogged and then shot upon return to base. The incorrect filing in any way of a Departamento Minitorum requisition form. Any soldier who, however unwillingly, incorrectly completes or fails to complete any Departamento Minitorum form for requisition of equipment shall have his request automatically denied. Falsifying any Departamento Minitorum requisition form. Any soldier caught deliberately entering false information on any Departamento Minitorum requisition form for the purpose of self-gain, either financially or materially, will be interrogated by officers of the commissariat to unmask his conspirators before being shot. Submitting any Departamento Minitorum requisition form without proper authorization. Any soldier who, knowingly or unknowingly, submits a requisition order to the Departamento Minitorum without the correct, legitimate, and appropriately authorized stamps, will have his request automatically denied, and then he will be flogged. Disputing a decision of the Departamento Minitorum. Any soldier that willfully disputes the decisions of the Departamento Minitorum Requisitions Office shall be construed as having disobeyed a direct order from a superior officer, regardless of the rank of officer dealt with, and he will be shot. Requisitioning of weapons and or equipment by means other than the Departamento Minitorum without permission. Any soldier resorting to his own initiative in purloining supplies or weapons by means other than the routes prescribed by the Minitorum shall have all information on said routes turned over to the Minitorum and will be flogged, no less than a hundred lashes. Utilizing non-departamental Minitorum sanctioned ammunition or equipment. Any soldier fighting in battle with ammo, weapons, or equipment not issued to him through the correct Departamento Minitorum channels shall be stripped of any rank or flogged, whichever is the harshest. Fraternizing with autocophonic populations for supplies without permission. Any soldier caught dealing with the population of a world upon which he finds himself stationed for food, water, or other consumable supplies shall be deprived of food and water for a period of no less than seven days. 
And this, my friends, has hopefully been a rather informative presentation of all things that you could do wrong on the battlefield and outside of it with Munitorum property. Because remember lads, your last gun is usually worth more than you are. Also to be clear, these punishments are not the same as the ones in the rules and regulations found in the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. That being said, what are your thoughts on these punishments? Do you think they're too much? Or maybe just plain stupid? Or do you agree with them? Let us all know what you think in the comments below. If you found the episode informative or entertaining, please click the like, share and subscribe buttons for future content. Thank you very much for watching to the end and I wish you a healthy and awesome day. The Emperor Protects.